Welcome back traders. Happy to have you here today. In this short video, I will show you how to build a powerful and effective trading strategy with the Super Trend AI Clustering EP by Lux Algo Indicator to detect trade opportunities in the market. The Super Trend AI Indicator is a novel take on bridging the gap between the K-means clustering machine learning method and technical indicators. In this case, we apply K-means clustering to the famous Super Trend Indicator. Users can interpret the Supertrend AI trailing stop similarly to the regular Supertrend indicator. Using higher, minimum, maximum factors will return longer-term signals. The performance metrics displayed on each signal allow for a deeper interpretation of the indicator. Higher values indicate a higher potential for the market to be heading toward the trend when compared to signals with lower values, such as 1 or 0, potentially indicating retracement. To apply this indicator on the trading chart, search the keyword Supertrend AI Clustering. Select the Supertrend AI Clustering EP by Lux Algo on the Trading View Indicator Community Scripts folder. As we can see, here is the trading indicator. Before I proceed to educate you about how this trading indicator works, I need to highlight this indicator and its purpose so you can quickly understand how it works. To do this, we need to right-click on the indicator and navigate to the Settings option. Here are the parameter settings of this indicator. Under the Input settings, there is the ATR length. ATR period used for the calculation of the super trends is 10 by default. Factor range. This determines the minimum and maximum factor values for calculating the super trends. By default, it is 1 and 5. Step. This is the increment of the factor range. By default, it is 0.5. Performance memory. This determines the degree to which older inputs affect the current output, with higher values returning longer-term performance measurements. By default, it is 10. From cluster. This determines which cluster is used to obtain the final factor. By default, it is the best. Under the Optimization section, this group of settings affects the runtime performances of the script. Maximum Iteration Steps This is the maximum number of iterations allowed for finding centroids. Excessively low values can return a better script load time but poor clustering. Historical Bars Calculation This calculates the window of the script in bars. Under the style in the input section, there is the trailing stop with its color settings. Under the dashboard section, there is the option to check or uncheck the show dashboard. Under the main style section, there are boxes to check or uncheck more parameter settings, such as the trailing stop, trailing stop AMA, bar color, labels, tables, labels on the price scale, and values in the status line. How does the Supertrend AI clustering indicator work in the market? We can see in the price chart that the trailing stop and its adaptive moving average can also act as support and resistance. Using higher values of the performance memory setting allows users to obtain a longer-term adaptive moving average of the return trailing stop. Whenever the price pullback and the test the trailing stop and its adaptive moving average, the price of the financial asset will usually find a rejection either to the upside or to the downside, and this depends on the direction of the market trend. The rejection from the trailing stop and its adaptive moving average are reliable if the rejection is accompanied by a strong candlestick price action bar. Also, demand and supply zones have major roles to play in the authentication of the trade setup price action formation from the rejection point of the indicator on the price chart. In a bullish trend, traders should be looking out for a strong buy price action signal bar in relation to demand zones in the market. Likewise, in a bearish trend, traders should be looking out for a strong sell price action signal bar in relation to supply zones in the market. How can traders use the Supertrend AI clustering indicator for the continuation of a bullish market? Here is a bullish trend in this market. Next, traders need to watch out for a bearish price pullback to the green trailing stop of the Supertrend AI clustering indicator. A bearish pullback has occurred to test the green trailing stop of the Supertrend AI clustering indicator. 
Next, traders should patiently watch out for the bullish rejection of the price from the green trailing stop. Price has formed a bullish rejection from the green trailing stop of the Supertrend AI clustering indicator. Finally, we can anticipate a buying position. Stop loss should be placed underneath the green trailing stop that rejected the price in a bullish setup for the buy entry. Traders should exit the buy position whenever the price closes below the green trailing stop in the uptrend. How can traders use the Supertrend AI clustering indicator for the continuation of a bearish market? Here is a bearish trend in this market. Next, traders need to watch out for a bullish price back to the red trailing stop of the Supertrend AI clustering indicator. A bullish pullback has occurred to test the red trailing stop of the Supertrend AI clustering indicator. Next, traders should patiently watch out for the bearish rejection of the price from the red trailing stop. Price has formed a bearish rejection from the red trailing stop of the Supertrend AI clustering indicator. Finally, we can anticipate a selling position. Stop loss should be placed above the red trailing stop that rejected the price in a bearish setup for the sell entry. Traders should exit the sell position whenever the price closes above the red trailing stop in the downtrend. How can traders use the Supertrend AI clustering indicator for the reversal of a bullish market to a downtrend? To trade the reversal of a bullish trend to a downtrend with the Supertrend AI clustering indicator, traders first need to figure out that the bullish trend closed below the green trailing stop at a powerful resistance level on the price chart. Next, traders need to figure out that the price makes a bullish retest of the newly formed red trailing stop of the Supertrend AI clustering indicator. The final step is to watch out for a strong bearish rejection from the red trailing stop as a potential new resistance for the price. Traders can then go short at the close of the strong bearish rejection candlestick and place stop loss above the red trailing stop. Traders should exit the sell position whenever the price closes above the red trailing stop in the newly formed downtrend. How can traders use the Supertrend AI clustering indicator for the reversal of a bearish market to an uptrend? To trade the reversal of a bearish trend to an uptrend with the Supertrend AI clustering indicator, traders first need to figure out that the bearish trend closed above the red trailing stop at a powerful support level on the price chart. Next, traders need to figure out that the price makes a bearish retest of the newly formed green trailing stop of the Supertrend AI clustering indicator. The final step is to watch out for a strong bullish rejection from the green trailing stop as a potential new support for the price. Traders can then go long at the close of the strong bullish rejection candlestick and place stop loss below the green trailing stop. Traders should exit the buy position whenever the price closes below the green trailing stop in the newly formed uptrend.